If you're trying to live a longer, healthier life, check this study out. Scientists gathered a group of individuals that were over 100 years old and tested their blood. These people were considered healthy centenarians. They didn't have any diseases. And when they looked at their blood, they found a pretty interesting trend. But the trend was especially interesting when they compared the blood work from these centenarians to the blood work of people that were in their 70s and even in their 40s. They found three biomarkers that all of these centenarians had in common. The first was low triglycerides. The second was high HDL cholesterol. And here's the one that most people overlook. The third was low fasting insulin. I usually have to tell my clients to get that measurement because it's not even on a standard blood panel. And the results of this study weren't just genetic luck. Compared to the folks in their 70s, these 100 year olds had better insulin sensitivity, healthier fat distribution, and a better overall lipid profile. Their bodies were still responding to insulin like someone in their prime. And that one thing, insulin, if you watch any of my videos, you know it is directly tied to everything else. HDL, LDL, triglycerides, ApoB, even free fatty acids. But here's the most important point out of all of this. You can positively affect all of these markers almost immediately by doing one thing, cutting out refined sugar and ultra processed carbohydrates. Those two categories alone will send every single marker that we talk about on this channel haywire. It turns out one of the secrets to living past 100 depends heavily on the stuff you keep in your pantry, or better said, the stuff you keep out of your pantry.